extraterritoriality of sanctions. Extraterritoriality means the ability of a state to make, apply, and enforce laws, regulations, and rules of conduct concerning property, persons, or activity beyond its territory. The U.S. is the primary government applying extraterritoriality to its sanction regime. The European Union, or EU, believes that the practice of extraterritoriality violates international law. Thus, it does not allow for the concept of extraterritoriality concerning its sanctions restrictions. The EU describes extraterritorial sanctions as sanctions that non-U.S. citizens and companies are also expected to comply with outside the U.S. jurisdiction. These are also known as secondary sanctions instead of primary sanctions. The sanctions imposed by the EU apply only where links to the EU are present, so they are primary sanctions. The EU follows this concept when implementing sanctions introduced by the United Nations or the UN. The purpose for the secondary sanctions stems from globalization weakening the impact of the primary sanctions as alternative finance and trade become more available. People often misunderstand the idea of extraterritoriality, meaning that the restrictions imposed by EU sanctions cannot apply to persons or activities once they are outside the EU's geographic borders. Restrictions imposed by the EU apply to all EU persons, wherever they are in the world. The broad scope of laws of the U.S. affects people, property, and acts worldwide. In attempting to protect EU-based entities and individuals with commercial interests from its negative consequences, European policymakers have recently been exposed as more or less helpless. To pursue the strategic objectives effectively, Europeans must focus on more than just increasing strategic autonomy from the U.S. government. In the absence of a diplomatic agreement with the executive branch, they must also use existing channels of influence better. One avenue would be to provide substantial diplomatic and financial support to EU-based companies and domestic courts to challenge the executive branch when enforcing U.S. law beyond borders. Only the judicial branch can effectively limit the extraterritorial application of U.S. jurisdiction.